Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video doing a full review video on the Signage Mod 10 Beta ROM on the Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Very excited to show you guys this ROM as of course it is Jelly Bean, so Android 4.1.1. I do have a video showing you how to install it. I can link to that in the description of the video, so make sure you do watch that if you would like to install this on your device. So. First of all, I do want to cover, cover some of the bugs. GPS is kind of flaky, so keep that in mind. I did have a little trick posted in my how-to video, um, which should get GPS to work, so go ahead and watch that. Make sure you watch that as well. Uh, but anyways, that's really about it. I mean, everything else is working. You have 3G working, we have 4G WiMAX working, you have picture messaging, you have text messaging, you have calls. Uh, I can't really show you these in action because my number is not on my Epic 4G Touch at the moment, unfortunately. So, uh, but I mean, just trust me, this stuff works. As you can tell, Wi-Fi works. Uh, if I sent a text message, it would work. If I was on 3G or WiMAX, they would work. Picture messages would work. Also, just a heads up, um, I'm running beta one, actually, let's go ahead and double check that, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and under about phone, you will see I am on 4.1.1, which is Jelly Bean right there, uh, basically build number JR003C. Uh, letting you know, it's basically it's Android 4.1.1. I'm on beta one, so keep that in mind. On beta one, um, camera is actually not working, but it was working on previous alphas, so he should be able to push an update out somewhat soon, hopefully, that fixes camera. When I go into camera, it actually says gallery has stopped and force closes the camera. So keep that in mind if the link I post in the description still says beta one on the ROM. Um, you might not want to install it just because camera might not be working. You might want to just wait for him to push out an update. Um, I'm sure it, even by the time this video gets uploaded, it might be fixed. So kind of keep that in mind. That's just one of the things that should be getting fixed here soon. Again, um, you got those awesome uh, jelly bean transition animations. You'll see open up, looks very smooth. Got that nice AOSP style dialer right there. Again, I mean, it, it looks very cool up there at the top. Got that nice blue color to it. All the icons are pretty much stock. Pull it down, you got that jelly bean notification bar with the date and the time. Um, pretty much all dark tinted uh, notification bar there. Lights up blue when you press on that bar. You got a settings button going on right there. Uh, many different settings. I'll get to those in a second. Um, otherwise, though, I mean, you got your stock launcher. It is CM10. You have 4G working WiMAX. You got a 4G WiMAX widget right there. Again, my number's not on my device. Uh, it is pre-rooted, so you got super user going on right there. Other jelly bean things. Uh, CRT screen off animation. You got that. Uh, you also have the nice new lock screen right there. You have camera, which, again, doesn't work at the moment, but it will. I'm sure once he pushes out an update, you have unlock and Google Now. So we can go to Google Now and say... What's the weather like in San Antonio? It's 37 degrees and clear and shady. There you go. So you're going to have to You're going to have to change the settings if you want it to be in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius, so that's why it says 37 degrees. It is in Celsius. You're going to have to mess with those settings, but there you go. Google now works great. Uh, loaded right up. I am on my Wi-Fi at the moment in case you are wondering there um, You got your stock messaging application. You also have your stock gingerbread keyboard The gingerbread keyboard does have that next word prediction. So you're gonna have to try that so you can say hey there um, And say send and you'll say is the first time to the first time so you'll see it's got a nice word prediction engine going on um, You got your stock browser which should load up google.com and it did. So let's load up a different page. Let's load up acsyndicate.net. AC I don't know what that green bar is right there, but uh, oh well. So load up acsyndicate.net. We will see. I mean, I'm on Wi-Fi, so it should load up pretty quick. And it did. Um, looks like pinch zoom works well. Uh, really no lag with the browser. So stock browser working very well. You can hit home there. Go back into our app drawer. You have the Apollo music app from Signage of Mod pretty much. So you got that Signage of Mod music application. Um, pretty much all AOSP calendar, calculator, camera, clock, pretty much all of those are AOSP. You have a nice file manager. Um, that's pretty much it right there. So again, also make sure you don't flash a ROM with the recovery included in this uh, in this ROM. Use Odin or Mobile Odin to flash the EL26 kernel or EL29 direct boot kernel as well. The same one you use to install this ROM, um, just to make sure that uh, you don't get hard bricked. <laughs> uh, yeah, so all your basic widgets, you have a nice torch widget, which you can just 
click and drag on your home screen. You can have bright or strobe flash. So you, you know, let's say we put bright there. Um, looks like I have to hit check. Sorry about that. So we got bright, hit check, and there we go. So high brightness, when we tap on the widget, it should turn on my torch and it did. It looks like torch has stopped. So again, this is in beta, so you are gonna run into some bugs similar to that uh, that torch bug. So it still says torch has uh, stopped. So again, you might wanna just turn it off turn it on just to obviously not get that message anymore so I guess don't try that torch torch widget um, other than that though it feels really smooth uh, opening up these this app drawer swiping through the app drawer swiping through home screens I mean it feels quick opening up different applications and such I mean it really does feel snappy uh, press and hold the home button you got that recent running apps list right there which is it's going nicely actually look at that so looks great swipe away those uh, notifications, go jump quickly into one or the other. But let's go back into settings and see if there are any settings. You have some advanced settings right there. Uh, again, Nexus S settings, uh, you really can't mess with those, so don't really go into those advanced settings. There's really no need because you can't really mess with any of them. But I mean, other than that though, you, you really don't have any of the CM tweaks added into this ROM yet. Again, these just kind of trying to get everything working, which is great, which they pretty much have done. Uh, I mean, as you can tell right here, it is it is running very smooth. You'll have, uh, when you get notifications, you'll have the, basically, I believe you should have the two finger pinch in to extend or contract the notifications as well. You should be able to have that little feature going on. That's, that's really about it. That seems like all I wanted to cover again. I mean, GPS is flaky, so you might have bad luck with GPS, so kind of keep that in mind. If you're in dire need of GPS, you might not want to try this on ROM. You might want to hold off onto it or just basically test it out and see how it goes. But uh, other than that though, it is very smooth, great work. Um, I mean, from everyone involved, it's, it's definitely could potentially be a daily driver for someone. I know I, it could be for me. Um, if GPS worked for me, it definitely could be a daily driver. So shout out to Dark Knight 2 and everyone else involved for this ROM. And I mean, that's really all I want to cover. You're definitely going to have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.